Well, my name is Mike Martin, president of Northwood Baseball League. Uh, our league uh, is a pretty diverse league. We have anywhere from 300 to 400 kids every year, uh, ages ranging from 4 to 15. Um, the kids here, what they learn while they're here, what we're teaching is the skill of baseball and softball, but uh, life skills as well taking them outside of baseball to, you know, anywhere from horseback riding, playing golf, um, going to the aquarium, going to Oreo games, uh, just trying to teach the kids um, how to have a uh, partnership with other kids, how to interact with people, and have confidence in themselves. Hi, my name is Kelly Allen. Um, I'm here on behalf of the Northway Baseball League. I'm a board member and a mom and a player, I played t-ball as a kid. Northwood is kind of family to me. My son came along and baseball is his life. Um, my kids are a bit spaced out, so Northwood has brought him a whole ton of siblings. Um, has taught him the game, gave him family that he didn't have. One kid is 20, one kid is eight. So, you know, his, his players are his brothers and sisters. So he's coaching the girls academy down there and it's just something, Northwood is more than baseball. We like to consider ourselves a community organization. So of course, you know, Northwood Baseball we teach baseball and softball, the fundamentals of that. However, we're trying to teach the kids the life skills and how to participate with other people, how to get on in that community. So, you know, it's an important piece of who I am and I hope that it's an important piece of who my children are now since they're so heavily involved. Hello, my name is Coach Tony Serez. Been a part of Northwood Baseball since 1980. I started when uh, one of my church members asked me to help a guy out, and when he called the second baseman, the shortstop on the left side, on the right side, I knew I had to help out. And I've been here. I've had the Northwood bug ever since. Um, the importance of Northwood, it, to me, is basically getting the kids off the street. Give them something to do in the summertime, not sitting in the house. Before they started play 60, Northwood had played two hours. So uh, that's why it's important to me, because now the rest of the world, the rest of the country would just play 60, and then the new USA basketball and all of that. It's very important to me to keep kids doing any kind of sports. Keep them off the street. Uh, the difference from when I started and now, to me, is the parents. When I started, the parents said, the kids, you're going to play. Now they ask them. They don't get the experience of seeing if they love the game. So to combat that, what we did, we started the Pee Wee League for the three to five-year-olds. To get them interested in baseball, by the time they six, that's all they want to do. Um, my name is Denise Worsley. Um, I'm a mom here at the at Northwood Baseball League. Um, my sons have been playing for about five years since they were three or four. Um, and I try to get them in organized sports um, because organized sports, number one, is a good way for them to get physical activity. Um, and then number two, it's a good team building experience. Um, getting to work with kids of different backgrounds, um, different abilities, it teaches you how to work within your differences to create one whole. Um, so the league has definitely taught my sons, you know, how to work together, how to conflict resolve, um, because oftentimes teammates don't agree. <laughs> and, and with them all being in a little league in the same area, some of them go to school together and other activities together. So sometimes they have, you know, little tits here and there. So it teaches them how to conflict resolve and to get along. Um, you know, here my sons, their coaches are their role models, you know, their coaches are their you know, kind of guy figures. So it goes beyond the baseball field. Um, just a little bit more of community also it teaches them. Um, living in the area that you also play in. Um, and then giving them those male role models that young boys need. And even young girls, because our softball coaches, we have actually female coaches as well. So giving them that role model that they need. Hi, my name is Marcus. Um, I've been playing this league since I was in T-ball. And I like this lead because you learn a lot of things and just have fun with it. I've been, I've been playing baseball for three years. 
and I like it because you get to learn a lot and just have fun, play with friends and all that. Um, my name is Marquise. People know me as Scooby. Um, I've been playing for four years since T-ball. Um, I like baseball because it's fun. You can make new friends, learn a lot of things, and instead of sitting in the house playing video games. I'm Jolly and Young. I'm uh, Kendall Joyner. And Little League has helped me get to where I am now because it's taught me how to be part of a team and it's taught me teamwork and how to stay focused um, during an activity. Um, I would say that uh, Little League uh, helped me as well as far as um, just learning discipline. Um, I was telling, uh, telling earlier about how, my, how my, uh, my coaches would tell us if your homework isn't done, don't come to practice. And we will always uh, call each other like, uh, did you do your homework? Make sure you did your homework because we wanted practice to be as, uh, as fun and as, uh, as together as possible. Like she said, with teamwork, um, that aspect of it definitely helped me uh, because I was, I'm, I was the only child growing up. And you know, uh, it taught me teamwork and just working together with others. Little League has helped me reach this level of play through discipline and character building and sportsmanship building. When you're at this level, at the D1 level, you face a lot of different players with a lot of different skill sets and a lot of different teams that can hit the ball. So as an outfielder, I have to stay focused and I have to stay into the game, which I've learned through being in softball for so long and starting in Little League and starting in T-ball. Oh.